Okay. So, right here. So, this project, the brain control quad copter, the way it works is I, I got this game. Uh, it's uh, the Mind Flex. And then, what I did right here, if you can see, it's, this is one of their headset. Um, I hacked into their signal. And there will be a link here showing how to uh, where I learned that from. So I hack into their signal, and I'm using their signal to control the quadcopter. What it does, what what it does is it it, it have a series of uh, it outputs a series of ten numbers every second, and then those numbers represents uh, your brain activity, your brain uh, your brain waves, and uh, and also the so it represents your brain waves and what, um, and also your attention level. And that's what um, I use for for these projects is uh, the the your attention level. And then the more you concentrate, the more you focus, the more your attention level will rise. And then that will control that will uh, through my Arduino. They'll send a signal to the quadcopter RC and tell it to fly. And then one your attention level is lower, it sends a signal and tells it to, to quit. So I also hacked into the, uh, if you can see right there, um, I hacked into their uh, the, uh, remote control signal. So I bypass uh, this guy here, so this here doesn't work anymore, the joystick, and I bypass it and I send the signal that the board expects from my Arduino. And then, I'll show you. Uh, let's, let's go into processing. That's, and then there, I have a graphical representation of the brainwave and how um, how it works. And um, I'll show you in a sec. I should, I should have left that open. But yeah, out, out of those uh, ten signals that I get from from the the, the headset, I can only really play with two because all the other thing is just brain activity and that's really hard to control. It's basically your brain working. And But the one I can control is the attention level, and that's the one I use, and uh, you'll see here in a second how it works. Actually have to go. I did this here with the quadcopter, so it won't fly away, but you'll be able to see it flying. Yeah, I'll put it right here. Careful there, so it won't. So that's about as high as it'll go. And we'll see. This here. What I want to show you now is the okay, so what I'm showing now is the graphical representation of uh, what this outputs. So right there. Um, so this here is just your brain activity. So all of the, that's the, the, the different numbers that the chip outputs. And then this too is your attention level and your meditation level. But I'll be using the attention level to control the quad culture. So when it gets to about a 60%, I consider that a good enough to, a good enough attention. And that's when uh, the quad culture flies. I just need to get a better connection here. So that, that yellow, uh, point right there. See, it turn, it, when it turns green, it means that I have uh, the best connection possible, and then that's what I use uh, to. That's what I use uh, to control the quadcopter. So let's put that into the battery in there. Since this is a cheap model, the batteries don't last very long. I'll try to show you. Uh, quicker before the batteries die out.
that's bound to happen. But yeah, basically you saw how it works. So the more I concentrate, the um, the easier it is to fly. But then towards the end of the day, it's really hard to focus because it takes a lot of brain power to uh, be able to get this guy to fly. So I'll try to show you one more time. And then you'll be able to see how it works. A little better. get a connection here. So yeah, so that's um, basically it.